welcome back guys so i'm here with a neat and sleek hair it's the first time i'm actually working with this company and i'm super excited they sponsor today's video this is something different for me so let's jump on into the package got these little clips as a gift you know these little chain clips you know because guess what today we're working with a butterfly locks wig now I've never done this here so that I contemplated doing it when it first came out and then I just kind of lost interest because yeah I just kind of lost interest so very convenient to have this as a wig though because I must tell you guys right off the bat let me tell you if you get this it does have a weight to it I mean it's locks it's kind of expected whenever I, you even put the locks in within your natural hair it carries weight you know braids and a whole but because i feel like this it's a lot of hair and stuff you know um it's weighty all right like like yeah it's weighty so i feel like whenever you're doing this install a glue install is what i would definitely recommend because i feel like this will slip back easily if you don't have like a really strong adhesive so make note of that okay i feel like this is convenient if you want to dabble and dabble into a bit of a braided look but you don't want to be too confined like myself so i'm not big on braids but these type of looks sometimes i feel like i would want to wear it for one day you know a couple hours <laughs> them kind of thing there um so yeah in the front the baby hair portion they braided it up so i guess i can pull that out um when i'm like done with installing it and stuff um the lace looks impeccable i must tell you guys that it's bleached and tinted okay so the mid portion is like a whole 13 by 6 action and then on the sides it's a shorter um space from the hairline to within the cap but you know yeah and the rest of it is just like a regular cap construction um they made it like of a you know that natural like tan color though so it looked more like scalp like within the parts on the like this side of the wig so you see even though it's like that these parts still look like you know scalp and then there's an extra elastic band within the wig so that's for more security which you definitely want with a wig like this and then we have adjustable straps in the back it looks so good the construction i have to give it them a 10 out of 10. the parts are neat it looks so good but not telling a lie so i'm excited i'm gonna go ahead and jump on into installing this okay, so i was so excited to go ahead and slip this wig on as i said it's the very first time i'm doing a lock wig to be specific i recently did a braided wig a box braid braided wig was it was just it was different i was happy that i could try you know um yeah but i what i love about today's wig um is the fact that it looks so realistic like from the roots it looks so good as you can see here i had to cut away the excess on um portion on the ears and there was a whole lock there i just had to cut it away there is no way it would fit on my uh the hairline properly if i didn't cut that area off so you want to ensure that you align it you know properly on your head before you go ahead and start you know applying your adhesive so i did say in each, in the previous clips that um i feel like a glue install would be best and yes i still stick by that even though you're seeing me using got to be spray here but the only reason why that is is because i knew that this is going to be a short term install for me so that's the reason why i didn't stress using glue for this install today but if i was going to be wearing this for a couple days oh, honey definitely definitely glue no no doubt about it because i feel like with so much weight it will eventually just slip back you know and yeah you don't want to you know got to be spray is for me at least i sweat and it doesn't last that long for like a long-term install so yeah it all depends on the occasion and how long you want it to last so i had to cut away this lock over this air portion as well so that it would sit around my ear comfortably um um yeah as you know i'm using my blow dryer on cool air and i proceeded to still just applying the adhesive right across the hairline 
I like the fact that they braided up the baby hair portion so that wouldn't be in the way because it's kind of different dealing with a lock wig. It's not like when you have a regular straight hair texture, curly hair texture, where you can just comb it back because it's already styled. You have to pay attention and be careful with the installation process. Like, just take your time, you know? So, yeah, I start cutting out with the excess lace bit by bit. And for, like, the end portion, that like that part where it looks like where you cut it at, sometimes it looks like it's lifting a bit. I just go over it with a little bit of um, adhesive. And it dries on really quickly, you know, no hassle. It's really easy to, you know get her own so after i'm done with that i start pulling out that braid there in the front so i could finesse my edges and it it's it's a decent amount of hair you know i cut it down and initially when i started to form the baby hair i felt like it was way too much so i did comb back some out of it eventually you'll see it um and you know what if you don't want to do no baby hair then you could definitely just pull back this entire portion but for me personally i wanted to and that's that you know at the end of the day you know it's just a preference thing so that's what i did there and um i was just going back over the front there the hairline with my blow dryer to ensure that everywhere is sticking properly now i feel like the only thing that i say so far is apart from the weight is i feel like i would have preferred if it was a, some like less locks i feel like you know it's a lot of locks and that added to the weight and it kind of it, it made it it made it kind of hard for me to style like i really wanted to wear it down like this like it's so cute but you know had to pull back pull it out of my face because the locks are like you don't want that to like get in your eye you know okay guys so i'm on the way installing the wig so i ended up as i said before i ended up using got to be because you know it's a short term install but i feel like the construction of the wig is really nice the only thing i wish is like that they did less braids in it so like it could look a little bit less big if you understand what i mean like a little less dense no of course it's locks this it's locks so it's going to be full and you know but i just feel like i'd, I'd prefer like for a little less strands but all in all it's done really yo them really neat and sleek i feel like they really live up to them name i really feel like them live up to them name in terms of the construction you see you see the quality of the locks i'm gonna just do that like a style here <laughs> can do this multiple ways i just do this so it can be out of my face for the most part because okay i said i wanted a little bit less locks in there just so that i feel like i could wear it down fully because i feel like that's cute but i feel like you know with it being so big at least on my face i have to pull back some of it um out of my face but it's so nice guys it's so nice it's well constructed and i really really do love that let me know what you think about the construction in the co in the comments like when you can't tell me said it's not good like it's still good it looks good it looks really good and the parting and everything it looks like scalp you know so i really love the fact that they'll use this lace the lace is really nice and thin i'm going to be sure to put all the details of this week in the description box so you'll see all the specification listed down there as usual so go ahead and check it out guys like if you're interested in this gorgeous locks braided wig yeah i definitely recommend as i said i, I stated the cons that i feel like it has a you know concerns that i have i feel like yes it, it does have weight to it once it's on my head though it doesn't feel as heavy but it does have weight to it so bear that in mind and i just feel like i'd want less braids in it so it can be a little bit you know a little bit flatter <laughs> but yeah everything else is a 10 for me um i did have to cut off a lock on each ear because it was too long it looks good shout out to Nita and sleek for sponsoring today's video 
it is it's different for me it's different you know i'm stepping out my box trying different wigs and i love that i love that for me but yeah guys that's it for today's wig look thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to go ahead and like subscribe as well share the video don't forget to check out my vlog channel with tv okay over there check it out